let's talk about some really shitty news. Oh. Like, really, let's... This is not fun oh, news. No. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Bobby what? Kotick, the infamously overpaid CEO of Activision Blizzard, is set to receive a record-high $200 million bonus in addition to his usual eight-figure annual salary. Uh... Corey so just, just walked away in disgust, and I agree <laughs> with him. So despite Corey Activision... Corey walked away into the blinding light to leave. No, he's going out to look across, <laughs> across the veranda and just see what... The, no, now he's walking and into scream the... And scream! And no, scream! No, no, no. He's going to scream! He's got a package or something. Go um, on, despite okay. Activision Blizzard's on booming business during the pandemic, the company hasn't supplied a reciprocated amount of raises or increased resources to its employees, uh, who have since begun sharing information about their wages internally in protest of Kotex actions. Tell them what um, they did get, though, Jose! Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> uh, undeterred from his goal of corporate greed, Kotex is continuing his trend of mass layoffs with a recent wave leaving nearly 200 employees jobless. Uh, while the newly laid off workers are set to receive health care benefits throughout the remainder of the year, they're also insultingly getting $200 of store credits of Battle.net, uh, Activision Blizzard's PC digital game storefront. And um, I, I want to credit I, I want to credit this tweet to uh, Dan Price, the CEO of uh, I believe it's Gravity Payments uh, to place this in a perspective. Bobby Kodak could have given a, he could have given one million dollars to every single one of those employees and Jesus. still have, and still have given himself 10 million dollars instead he fired nearly 200 people and took all the money for himself yep daddy it, kodak needs a fucking new yacht i keep saying it and, and i keep having to say it. it's not a joke how much uh, uh it, you know obviously you know a private jet costs a lot of money, Jose. How else is he supposed to keep up with the bills? Like, how much on. money does a fucking like, person need? Like some oh. fucking scumbag. <laughs> really, how, really much, how much fucking those? money does someone need? Holy shit! How does he keep getting away with this? <laughs> um, apparently, the board is actually pretty pissed at him. Um, I have a quote right here. Uh, Michael Varner, a member of the union of the union pension fund advocacy, ad, yeah, advocacy organization, uh, CTW Investment Group, issued a statement proclaiming that while the increase in Activision stock price is somewhat commendable, as we stated last year and continue to assert, this achievement alone does not justify such a substantial pay outcome for the CEO. So people are pissed at him, like internally, that he's been getting away with this for a long time. Um, some kind of like clause within his contract or whatever, but it's. Also, the uh, how are you going to lay off two hundred people in the middle of a fucking pandemic and pocket all that for yourself? And I'll, I'll say this, Jose. This is this is the this is the reason. As old as time, ever since there's been financial classes in any society, the reason that rich people like that do not do that is because they say their excuse is that poor people will get lazy if suddenly they come into money and they won't want to work anymore. Period. Well, uh, you see, Corey, he uh, pulled yeah. himself up by his bootstraps. That's what a uh, Judeo-Christian man does. Right. So uh, it's I'm like, sorry, oh, wait, what? You mean... <laughs> that's, that's what our boy Benjamin would say. My God. I, I don't just, even know what you're talking about. Are you okay? Whole, I watch too much YouTube. The whole <laughs> argument that if people come into money or if people get paid better or if they have benefits that are, you know, like free healthcare and all this stuff, that they're going to get suddenly lazy is such absolute horseshit. Isn't that regular? And when I say regularly, regularly, I mean, like, isn't that proven wrong almost at least multiple times a decade in somewhere in e either in the united states and because i know recently when before this was even brought up like one of these studies was shown like you know we they just gave people during the pandemic like an extra i think it was like five thousand dollars or something they, they gave them a, a monthly stipend and the, the what was shown is they were actually like able to improve their lives and further um be more productive and whether it was working from home whether it was getting a new job or whatever like it actively helped people be more productive not mm -hmm. that productivity should be what we what we aim to just get out of people as a society but it still says a lot 
when the when the argument is usually the one you say, Corey, when let's be real, the lazy ones are usually these billionaires and billionaires and millionaires at the top who cut all these corners to make as much money as possible while screwing everyone beneath them actually carrying them. Yeah, exactly. And like, for instance, you see this you see this in elderly people, too, who who retire um they come out of retirement a lot of elderly people who are still able-bodied they they some of them come out of retirement momentarily because they're bored out of their mind because they literally don't know what to do so it's just like the human body and the human condition was meant to be active we were meant to be doing things so being lazy is only so bearable for so long. And I agree with you, Blaine. These people, these CEOs that are doing just like this guy did, um, cutting corners to make as much money as they possibly can, they're the ones that are being absolutely lazy in everything that they they can do. And they're also, they're the ones that are benefiting from handouts at, constantly mm-hmm. from the government and benefiting from socialism. When you don't have to pay your taxes because of <laughs> loopholes... Again, I know this was, I think this was predominantly EA that had the big, like, they haven't been paying taxes and whatever, unless it was Activision. I'm just sure either one of them pay their taxes. It's probably anyway. both. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I'm talking about the basement in fucking Europe or whatever. But, like, something else that actually adds to that, to add to your point, Corey, of, like, you know, when you have nothing to do, you kind of go crazy. Like, remember when Notorious Shithead Notch sold Minecraft for, like, a whatever billion million dollars and bought his weird, <laughs> stupid fucking mansion and realized he has no fucking friends? So he just would start, like, tweeting. Like, number one, he start leaning, leaning, started leaning even harder into white nationalism than he already did. But the, quote-unquote, allegedly, not really. But, like... Then he also like talked to you remember they made that tweet of like oh, all the M&Ms and my big candy wall went bad because I had no friends to come over to eat them. And just thinking about how all that man has is a big man, big empty mansion with nobody in it, but him and his own stupid bullshit. Mm-hmm. And that's Bobby get- Kodak. That's all these people. My, my really quick. I don't know anything. There's a reason I went to film school and not didn't study business. But if, if there's enough people on the board who are pissed at what he's doing, can't they do something? Apparently he has some clause in his contract. They're, they want oh. to keep him on. What is that? Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know business jargon. What does that mean? He has something very specific in his contract that's allowing him to get like this inordinate amount of money that maybe if another CEO was in there that they wouldn't be getting that same thing. It's something that he probably negotiated when he took the position and they didn't think he'd be able to, I don't even want to say it is like, he'd be able to do it. Like he fucking achieved something and, aside from firing people. And let's be honest, the, the only way, the only reason he was able, he was even able to discover such a clause or to negotiate that is probably because he could afford a lawyer who uh, in turn had their own agenda because lawyers, if they, if they, you know, win the cases of these multi-million, multi-billion dollar CEOs, then guess what? They get a big payday too. So it all comes full circle. Yeah. I just um, feel I, stupid asking. I just don't know business. Stuff. I, I don't want to get yeah. to uh, comrade Jose <laughs> over here, but uh, this is a damn good reason why unions need to be mandated in the mm. games industry. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be able to get away with this stupid ass shit just so you can afford fucking 50 extra yachts. But Jose, my yacht got dirty and I need a new one. Oh, I, no. uh, <laughs> I, uh, I uh, accidentally like, scuffed another yacht. Now I need three. Just yeah. so if I scuff one, I'm I got a speck own. of dust on my phone. I need to buy a new one. <laughs> it's an iPhone, Jose. What would it cost? Five dollars? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think about that fucking Ricky Gervais fucking stand up thing where uh, he, he's like joking that that rich people are like so fucking disconnected from reality that when someone asks him if he could, they can borrow money for milk, he just hands them like 200. He's like, that should cover it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Self self depreciative humor doesn't work when you're also an insufferable jackass, though. <laughs> Yeah, that, mother- I'll, I'll get that, that motherfucker didn't he? It wasn't he built a career off different- that. I know, but like he then just got worse and worse as time went on. Like he became Michael Scott essentially, but I mean, quote unquote, more intelligent. I mean, he's not like fucking what's the dude's name, Bill Burr or whatever. He's not like a jackass socially, almost, if that makes I sense. I would almost argue he's worse than Bill Burr because at least Bill Burr has like either admitted he's wrong. I mean, I'm not going to defend him for the Gina Carano shit. He can go fuck himself. But what I'm saying is like. At least for the fact that I've seen him either admit he's wrong, or I've never seen him say shit that's like, up until recently, was shit like, 
Um, also, was that Michael Scott reference intentional? <laughs> yes, it was. Okay, thank you. Cause, yeah, because he played Michael Scott in the no, UK one. Well, I don't know if the character was also named Michael Scott. I just know that he played that character in the UK version. Yeah. Um, damn. ADHD Point. brain. Message at the yeah. end of the day, fuck Bobby Kotick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. eat Bobby Kotick, <laughs> eat Jeff Bezos, eat, him. eat whoever the head of EA is. <laughs> I, I just wonder that I, I just wonder when you know uh, the end of the world comes and the ashes are falling around them if they can keep themselves warm there with their stacks of money. No, they'll be in they'll be in weird cryo tubes and oh. hoping for a better future. How shitty is that though? In the middle of a pan, well, now we're getting like s- semi towards the telling whatever. <laughs> um, but still, so we're in we're in a pandemic. Are we still talking about you get, games? <laughs> you, you get fired, and then Bobby's like, "It's okay. Here's two hundred dollars to BattleNet. At least you that, can play games while you're starving so to death. Funny. At least you can buy our loot boxes, <laughs> right? God, Does loot God. boxes carry lunches for my children? <sighs> no. Like not even. Like, I got a fucking $25, $20 gift card to Stop and Shop for Christmas for my when I worked at the country club. And fuck those pieces of shit, because they tried to fucking pull a bunch of shit on me anyway when COVID happened. But that's another story for another time. Point is, is that, like, that at least is something I can use to feed myself. That's something that I can use. I would also get tips from people for, like, $100 here or $20 there, depending on how nice a person the rich asshole was that being said sorry i'm very jaded after these last year two years of dealing with this shit almost green's a um, good color though no it is a good color but that being said like two hundred dollars of store credit for the people that just fired you like yeah no, i don't think anybody who gets fired by that company or at least most people aren't gonna want to then go turn right back because what was it was a tweet that i saw that like think about it that way like in the same kind of tone as the one you had read before jose it's like think about it this way every one of those 200 dollars gift cards is just free money that they're not actually paying because it's just going right back into them anyway there's mm-hmm. no other place for it to be used even yeah. if one of them sold the 200 dollars gift card for cash that's still money going right back into activision's pocket eventually exactly mm-hmm. it's such a it's such a backhand to the face it's it's like the and you know they know exactly what they're doing. They don't. They're not. They're not. To say that they're naive is naive in a, in and of itself. Um, they are just uh, absolute professional assholes, and they have no moral compass whatsoever. So. There's there's a, and I, if I may try to put a period on this discussion, um, mm-hmm. there is a bit from a little indie hit you might have heard of called BoJack Horseman. There's a oh, bit on that show yes. that where you know the main character one of the main characters is confronting an evil billionaire and is like we're gonna tell the world about what you've done and i'm sorry kind of spoilers but also like it just fits perfectly for this conversation it's like season three or four or something um tell the billionaire we're gonna release all the information of what you did he goes fine do it i don't care i'll still make a billion dollars tomorrow and by the way congress just passed a law making it legal for you to kill people if you have a billion dollars and like that sounds like a farcical <laughs> and it is a farce technically but when you think it when you hear about shit like this and it's like i mean you basically can though if you have enough money in the united states or in almost any country in the world sadly you can pretty much get away with anything including firing 200 well, firing however many of your fucking workers and then giving them a pittance Yep. Yeah. It, you, at some point, unfortunately, if you have a if you have a lot of money, you become untouchable. Also, that whole oh, we, we they have healthcare for a year thing. Yeah, I had Cobra for like two months, and it fucking sucked, and I had to change over to Medicaid. Because at least with the low income one, I'm actually able to go to the doctor now. But the mm. fucking Cobra, I was paying like more than I think my monthly rent for health insurance. I mean, it was crazy. Jeez. I didn't know it was it was huge. So, um, yeah, fuck Bobby Kotick and uh, watch BoJack Horseman. Mm-hmm. Watch Let's Stephen talk- Birdie when it comes back also. 